Hello everyone, Nova here, and welcome to today's tutorial. Recently on my Discord, I decided that I was going to make a video on how to use Krita. Uh, Krita is a free digital art program that you can use similar to Photoshop. And now this is the first thing that I started working with before my school actually started um, teaching us how to do Photoshop. Uh, of course, Photoshop is completely different compared to this because this is a digital art program, so I don't really know how to use Adobe Illustrator. I would like to learn, but I don't necessarily know how to uh, how to do it, but I, I think I can get my teacher to help, help me out there. Um, so basically, what um, Krita is Photoshop as HitFilm for Express is to Premiere Pro, or Audacity is into Adobe Audition. Uh, the only difference is that with all the Adobe products, those are um, softwares uh, that you have to buy. You cannot just do it for free unless you pirate them. And I'm not saying I condone that, but, you know. Uh, but HitFilm for Express is a free video editing software uh, that's pretty easy to use. Krita is a digital art program that you can use like Photoshop as well. Uh, Audacity is a free um, program that you can use for... Uh, voice recording and things like that. However, I'm just using OBS as you can see here, so it's nothing really special there, not any special effects. So, first things first, we need to find an image. So, we'll be using these two images here, uh, which is that right there, and the Discord ping image, because everyone loves to be pinged. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and close this so we can get the best size possible. We're going to take this image and drop it into Krita. Then Krita is going to load it. And then once it's done, you can see that is what we are dealing with. Now, unfortunately, it's low res and I have very limited um, software use of this. But basically, if I'm going to be drawing art or something like that, I would just be tracing, um, tracing things like these, you know normal stuff just tracing uh, but I don't usually do that on a daily basis I barely know how to use this program um, so one of the things is that whenever you are making memes you are gonna want to make images uh, say transparent and there's many ways you can do this you can use this rectangular shape tool and while that's there because this is under make sure that you remember it's right here not here because this is for resizing and in this case we just are resizing the crop here or uh, yeah so we basically just resized it there uh, to see kind of what it would look like. But you take this or the circle here and you press delete and that's what makes the image transparent. Now it's very important that you remember that PNG files are the only file that you can use for pictures in order to actually have the transparent background. And you can tell if an image has a transparent background by the checkers here. Now, something else that's very important is that this is your best and most uh, your most useful tool, especially whenever doing Photoshop work. If you, if for some reason, because if we go right here, for example, you can see that it gets part of. Delete that right there. Okay, well that one's not that bad. But on on other cases, if you were to say get this part um, right here, and just click this dark red, if you were to do that, you'd be deleting a lot of the image and that's not something that you want to do um, so that's why this tool is the freeform tool to where you can make any shape you want so we'll do like a little um, just a weird shape there then that's what makes it transparent of course the circle makes it into a circle so it's like oh you want to remove this but there's something else then you just do that and delete it or this square here to where it's like ooh, there's something here and I don't like it delete it like so um, of course uh, let's go ahead and deselect it. This is the resize tool. So this is going to be, see this background here is your canvas. This is a 600 by um, 315 image. Uh, so this just resizes it. And we'll, I'll show you how that works in a second and why you want to resize a lot of things. You can also rotate the image. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to it. So to use the freeform tool, we can go ahead and just basically do a really shitty trace around where we want to do it. Of course, if you are doing um, something like a professional work for someone, you want to be a lot more specific uh, and a lot more detailed. So in a lot of cases, you would actually like zoom in on it and make sure to get like every little detail. 
and not mess the image up. And the thing is, is that why did I select around this area instead of the face? Because don't we just want to crop the face and the little surrounding areas here and there? Well, what's weird is, and I don't understand, um, you can do this in Photoshop in order to uh, make an inverse. But what this is, is the surrounding area, whatever is in this circle is going to be deleted. So if we press delete, that's our image now. We can go ahead and deselect that. And of course, there's a little white here and there, and you can make the background black and things like that, but I don't know how to do that since, like I said, I barely ever use a uh, program. But you can also use this little quick wand tool. So you see this white here? Well, we can just go ahead and delete all of this white right here. Or uh, the surrounding white area here. Uh, because it is just a quick select. Like I said, it's, it's not very accurate, especially if you do something like that, because you're just going to end up deleting the whole image, but I already showed you that before. So... You can also add text and things like that. So it's like uh, uh, ping, let's go type in, ping shows Latin there. And you can of course change the font and everything. So let's do like a font shift, save that there and it'll be there. And you, you can move it around and stuff and you can make it bigger, but you need to actually like, um, Go ahead and put ping right there, just, no, not just in the eye, why not? Yeah, secret, secret ping. So then what you want to do is you want to take whatever other image you want to get involved with, and then you want to drop it into there. And insert it as a new layer. And whatever layer is selected, in this case, this is the only thing that gets selected, is this right here. Because this one piece of text is an entire layer dedicated to it. So if you accidentally do this, you cannot delete any part of the background because of the layers here. This layer is specifically for the face, delete of the face. This one right here is specifically for your text if you added it. And this one is for the image that we have just added recently. Now, you see the image right now is not looking very good. Uh, first things first, uh, luckily for us, this image is actually a PNG image. Uh, which was already transparent. If you look up Discord ping, it's like one of the first things you'll see. We can go ahead and lock these two layers here. Well, let's go ahead and get the crop here. And you can see it just shows ping. So let's just go ahead and put that right there. And essentially, what you just did, or what we just did, was make our first meme, essentially. And I suppose I can use this as an example, and I can post it to my Twitter, these two pictures, so that way you can use just to, to drag and drop, and I'll also give the link to the official Krita website in the link in the description below. Uh, but yeah, so that is how you make um, memes, I guess, by or just use uh, this program as if it's Photoshop. It's completely free. Okay, one more thing before I go. Uh, I ended the video, so it's gonna, it might have like a weird little overlap thing or a little overlay. Be sure that whenever you save the image such as this, to make sure to always save it as a PNG. Because you see these checkered, let's go ahead and save it. You see these checkered marks here? Uh, I think I just deleted the original image. Nope, it's still there. That right there is the unofficial image it should be somewhere over there to the left of my screen uh, if you save it as a JPEG file uh, this transparency will not be there and it will be a white image uh, so just remember that always save transparent images as a PNG file uh, yeah uh, thank you so much for watching I really appreciate your guys's viewership every view counts if you would like to leave a like on the video Go ahead and like it if you didn't like it don't like it if you have any comments questions concerns well my social media links are in the links in the description as well um, just comment down below and I will talk to you guys later